Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3 Ruined World. This will be part 20 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we played with some basilisks, uh, discovered that they are a bit too strong for us at the moment. And uh, we found this dryad grove where there is apparently an ogre inside that is uh, wrecking up the place. But unfortunately only one person can go in at a time, so... guess I'll send, uh, actually, who's got healing pots? Curing pot. You've got one healing elixir. I'm gonna actually give you all of these. Actually, you know what, while I'm here, let's move all this to Cordelia. Because there's absolutely no reason for him to be carrying all that. Okay. Uh, I have a battle crystal which I might have to use. Got the healing pots, got the healing elixir. Okay. That's about as good as it's gonna get, I think. So, we will send Aussie Nerd. So, theoretically, it's just the one ogre, right? Ogre. You reach a shadowy glade. There's something very cold and unwelcoming about this forest, as if a malevolent force has invaded it. In the glade you see a gremlin. Oddly, it doesn't attack. It just stares at you. A nasty little gremlin is grinning at you. I'm a gremlin. You're an intruder here, but I don't need to kill you. Yet. Why are you here, gremlin? It gives you a toothy little grin. I should be helping you get further into the grove. Get on with it then. But just being helpful wouldn't be very gremlinish now, would it? It emits a little high-pitched laugh. Tell you what, I'll help you if you can answer my riddle. What's the riddle? I have a thousand little knives. My hands are red and white. You can give them to your maid to make things turn out right. What am I? Give them to your maid. There's little knives. My hands are red and white. Is it going to be a rose? I guess a thousand little knives. Yeah, yeah. Correct. In return, I shall tell you this. Proceed on the path with the gravel at the entrance. Otherwise, you'll get beaten on. Okay, well, I have saved it. Jean Skull says, Bet you've never met a talking skull before. I'm high in calcium. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I have saved it before. Okay, with gravel. Didn't they say to go on the gravel or whatever? Did I read that wrong? Okay, well, I'm gonna try and kill you first, obviously. God, I wish I could heal in a way that wasn't, uh. wasn't potions. There we go. Like, these things aren't gonna kill me, but they're gonna soften me up a lot. And that's kind of more annoying. There we go. Come on. That should be the end of combat. Can I... Hang on. Can I, like, go out and back in? Ah, uh, hang on. Uh, end combat. Yep. There we go. The answer is yes, it seems like I can. Okay, well I mean if I can, so what if I go this way then? Okay. 
So I'm guessing... <laughs> I'm guessing my answer wasn't correct. Xi'an Skull says, You know what the best thing about being a skull is? I don't either. Yeah, okay, I... I'm guessing I shouldn't trust the gremlins. Or, what I said wasn't correct at all, and... It just told me it was correct. The Xi'an Skull says, You should buy some nice skull wax. I'm starting to look dull. Yes, thank you. So someone pointed out that they had the Xi'an Skull again. Sorry, I do not remember who it was, but, uh... Yeah, they, they dumped it at the... Dumped it at the, um... Like, at Ford Emergence, and I... Yeah, I'm there as well. An unusually tall gremlin, a full three feet, is waiting here for you. It says, one, two, three, four. You aren't sure why. Um, hi, why are you standing here? Six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five. You aren't sure what it wants to be saying. Maybe that's the point. So it said one, two, three, four, then six, seven, eight, nine. Now three, four, two, three, four, five. So, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Hang on, so that's five up. Now, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. Okay, okay, okay. So, I still think that should be like seven something. Ah, uh, that one? I have no idea. I feel like I'm missing something. Looks intrigued, 5, 6, 7, 8. Mm. Grandma suddenly looks very offended. You aren't sure what you did. It doesn't speak anymore. Okay. Yeah, and no, I, I have no idea what I was supposed to do there. Seems like I'm going to have to fight things again, though, so that's fun. Ooh, I missed. Ah, oh, no, don't you ensnare me. Wow. Yep, that asp. Oh, so it gave me a game over. Uh, yeah, okay. Wow, that was interesting. Yeah, that, that asp, man, they are strong. Could you not, though? Well, maybe they're not strong. Maybe they're just, like, maybe they're glass cannon type, because I did a lot of damage with that room. Never mind. Nope, they're going to wreck me. Yeah, no, I... That's not, uh... That's not worth it enough for me. So we might have to come back to this. Because, yeah, that is a lot of... Let's talk to you more. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that is, that is a lot of stuff I'd have to waste to get through there. I probably could, but... Yeah, nah. Let's get out of here. We'll come back later. I might later when we've leveled up a bit. Okay, these ogres are actually chasing me. Which is what monsters do, I believe, when they think they can win. So, I'm going to trust that they know they can win. And just leave them the hell alone. Xi'an Skull says, check out my teeth. They are shiny. Uh, Lair of the Ursagi. Ursagi are the bears, right? The Giant Skull says, Let me go and I'll give you three wishes. Just kidding. You walk into a lair of the Ursagi, the massive, sinister, intelligent bears that infest these hills. As you move farther in from the entrance, you think that you might hear some of them gathering outside. They might be planning an ambush. I can't remember 
if the Osagi are any good. You hear the deafening rumble of stone behind you. The Osagi outside have started an avalanche. You dive for cover. When the rockfall ends, you run back and find that they have rolled massive boulders into the cave entrance. You are trapped. I mean, I'm not though. I can just go back there and, and wreck them. I have that spell, right? Several Osagi were concealed on the ledges above and behind you. They leap down and ambush you. You're amazed by how fast and limber the massive beasts are. They bear huge teeth and claws and charge. Uh, okay, I just wanna... Oh, I guess I can't check now. Ooh, no, you're right. They are pretty tough then. Yeah, can you do the rock smash thing? Yeah, you can. You can do move mountains. So it shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, we will do... Protection. Wow, that critical load. You probably want to heal him up, so let's use an actual heal. Oh yeah, they're hasted, so they can have two attacks. Right, that's a very big problem. I had forgotten about that. Uh, can I just do like a mighty blow on that one? I missed. So I guess the answer is yes, I can do it. It just doesn't do it. How many turns? Okay, not stunned anymore. Good. So now Jesh Oshes. Wow, this is uh, this is a slog. Please days. Okay, days one. That's okay. That's not. Okay, that's annoying. Yeah, no, these Ursagi are tough. I'm definitely thinking I should be going. Hang on. Let's reload that. Let's just go to the Isle of Begale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Gion Skull. I'm going to leave you some shit. Yeah, wow, these things are so hard to kill. Alright, we're gonna do this. And this time, hopefully, not run into the uh, Asagi over here. Alright, I'm getting real sick of these ogres, so let's just fight this out. Well, troglodytes they are, not even ogres. I'm getting real sick of your shit, troglodytes, so let's do this then. Uh, go over here, and then pop a protection. Do you have any Kazis? No. So, you're really not that much of a threat, though. Yeah, no, I, I can do bulk damage to you guys. Your Kazis are the only annoying thing, because they do the, um, like, war chain haste and stuff. Uh, right, so... I'll drop a minor heal on Jesh Oak. Okay, you just daze me with a punch. That's... A, bullshit, and B, rude. I only daze one of them. Okay. So you can back up a bit and heal yourself. What is with these daze punches? Since when is that a thing? There, daze them all. Let's just unshackle mine, because you'll probably daze for heaps of turns here. Fix that shit up. Now, you probably don't do anything. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't, don't do anything. Uh, and I'll just smite that one. I shouldn't have done that. I should have healed with him. Since... Since uh, she could just use fireball. Okay, so there's blessed land under my feet. Again, I don't really know what that's for, but... 
cool, I guess. I'm just willing to bet it's some kind of like, you know, some creatures get hurt by blessed land, etc, etc. There! Now those goddamn troglodytes will stop following me. Uh, yeah, okay. What is this? You find the shaft of an abandoned mine. The roof hasn't been shored up by timbers, as is usual. The tunnel looks like it's been dug out, not with picks and shovels, but with huge claws. Enter mine. You explore the inside of the mine. Fortunately, there are no guards. You also find the mine still has plenty of nice gold ore sitting around on the ground. Take it. Merchant the mine packing a few sacks of valuable gold nuggets. The valley is empty. You have escaped safely. I'm guessing it was carved out by like, ooh, that's not good that way. That's a lot of Ursagi and stuff. Okay, I'm not going to read the uh, Gion Skull stuff anymore. If anyone wants to read it, I, you know, you can pause the video and have a look. You stand at the southeast end of a long valley. Looking up, you see growing among the rocks many varieties of beautiful flowers. Their pollen wafts down to you on the wind, enticing you to climb up and enjoy them. You're not alone in admiring the flowers. A bunch of gremlins live in this valley, and they are annoyed when you disrupt their solitude. Uh, no, I don't want to simply avoid them. I want to kill them. More XP for me. Man, that, uh... That stun. Why are there so many things that stun? Uh, how much do you stun for? Okay, two turns. No, we're absolutely going to unshackle mind on you. And we'll see if we can't daze the rest. Guess not. And you stun. That's really quite frustrating. I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble here and do that. I'm gonna do Icy Rain and hopefully do a lot of damage, which I more or less did. Oof. Now, you've got the healing potions though, so you can heal yourself and then attack. Yeah, and we'll make Jesh Osh get healed by uh, Horror. I don't really think I need the full heal, do I? Mm, uh, probably should, just to be safe. If I don't, you know it's not going to do enough and the gremlin's going to kick my ass. I don't know why these were running away. This hasn't been particularly easy. There's plenty of harder things that... Oh, sorry, plenty of easier things that haven't run away. Problem solved. Now worth a fair bit of XP as well. I don't know, whatever. Uh, there are beautiful, breathtaking flowers growing all along this valley, exploding in intricate rainbow patterns of colours. Their scent fills the air. After years in the dark and mould of Avernum, the sights and smells almost overcome you with emotion. You encounter another bunch of green-thumbed, figuratively and literally, goblins. That first stun. And a second stun. Excellent. Now, again, I'm pretty sure I can't daze these. They probably have high resistance. Yeah. Okay, we're probably going to lose that one. That was a really shitty opening move. I hate save scumming like this, but... In a game like this where the the opening move where they try and stun you can be the difference between winning and losing, it's, I don't know, it's sometimes you can't avoid it. Uh, yes. Okay, so, Blade Sweep. Let's do that. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's got a lower chance to hit. That's why you don't just do it all the time. 
Uh, let's go here. Actually, no, let's summon a shade. I was gonna do like a call the storm, but that works better. And actually, you're going to summon a boss. Okay, zombie not terribly useful, but... Numbers is numbers at this stage. Oof. Right, kill that one, make sure he dies. Heal up Zhezhezh, I guess. And you do an icy raid. Yeah, it's so nice when you finally get access to, like, a, a area of effect attack. They have cleave as well? Man. These gremlins are nothing short of a massive pain in the ass. Uh, ah, missed. That's not what you want. Because we're still in a pretty dangerous position here. I can do a fair bit of damage, though, and it's going to get to the point where I can just, like, one-hit them. Wait, did I heal Zhezh Osh? Uh, I should have healed Yossi Dirt, because now he's dead. That was dumb. I don't know why I healed Zhezh Osh. That was... I didn't use my thinking brain. Go away. All of you can piss off. And then, you're probably close enough to hit all of you with Icy Rain. Yep. That was a good combo. Wow, and then you missed. You're really not doing me any favours here, Shoshosh. It's gotta be said. Thank you. I can save it, but I'll bet you there's going to be more before the end. The flowers growing here are even more beautiful than the ones to the southeast. However, none of them are quite perfect enough to take with you. Looking north, you think that they that you can see more gremlins wandering through the flowers. Oh, right, because this is the, uh... Yeah, the, the beauty for the dryad. Ah. Okay, well, we're going to do a quick run back to Fort Emergence and then come back. Because, wow, that is so far... Because I don't think... What is this? Porter's Retreat. I don't think these ones will revive my people. Right? Yeah, no. Because they're not technically, like, a friendly... Well, they're not a... What do you call it? Allied Town, I think is what it... Technically called it. Man, this is going to affect our... Uh our time quite a bit. Uh, no. I don't want to do any shopping. And actually, while I'm here, I'll dump off that Xi'an skull. Oh, I haven't said anything. Oh, is it because he's dead? That it doesn't say anything for a while? Now, where's our storeroom here? It's like over here, right? Cause it's like here. Yeah, whatever. Put that away. And that should be a-okay. Now we have a long run ahead of us. I suppose if I get the option again of not fighting the gremlins this time, because this might be the last group, you know, rule of threes and all that. I might just like God damn it. I might take the dodge and not actually fight them. <clears throat> Cause they are doing way more damage than they deserve to be doing. Considering they're trying to run away from me. Ooh, Stone Shadow Scroll. Not gonna complain about that. Do, 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 do. Now, okay, that does lead up to another sort of river bit there. I wonder if there's a bridge over that. Hope so. Okay, so I'm just going to there. 
Blah blah something something. Oh wow, null bugs. Okay, I don't think we can do this one. No, we can't. Not when they get to move first. Alright. That is fine though. So we've hit our limit there. God, no. The past three episodes have done nothing but like lose, but. Uh, I'm kind of finding the limit. Lava, so another dragon probably. Fiery pit. You carefully make your way across a narrow stone ridge, curving through bubbling pools of magma. Magma. It's excruciatingly hot, you can barely breathe. This fumarole is the source of the dangerous geological activity in these caves. It's also the lair of a family of drakes, yeah. This is their chosen place to raise a brood of squirming, fire-breathing babies. And of course, baby drakes are always hungry. So where are the drakes? Okay, they're over there. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to... I was going to say I don't want to fuck with them. Because they will kick my ass. So we are just going to peace out of this place. Uh, what's this? Bolton. No. Bolton South. Golddale. Mining operations have a large smelter here. Iron, gold, and silver are pulled from the stone by huge fires. Pulled from the stone. Oh, right. Pulled from the stone by huge fires. No, that makes sense. And formed into bars to enrich the people of Golddale. The wastes and ash left behind are dumped into the aptly named Sludge River. The goo and muck turns the water grey and ill smelling. Seeing all of this filth dumped into the water makes you feel strangely sad. What the monster plagues don't ruin, the humans do. Find some grazing cows. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Golddale, then. I'm sure they'll have quests for us to do, Ooh, and things we can take. Some crystals? I don't remember that being a thing in the first one, but I might be ill-remembering. Because I remember constantly getting crystals and stuff. But I don't remember what you got most of your money from. I think it was just weapons, loot and stuff like that. I, crystals were absolutely a s big part of the second game, you know, crystal souls. But, yeah, I don't remember them being such a big part of the first game. Ooh, big chest. Uh, lightning scroll, I will take it. And none of that's worth any money, so don't bother. Mm-hmm. Guards. Goldale Mining Company Administration. I will check that out, but first... Employees only, okay. So don't go in there. The guards will probably not be happy with that. What's in here? I can teach you. A short, stocky man, mostly bald, sits behind the counter. He has several wickedly sharp knives arrayed before him in a neat row. He inspects you with a sharp analytical gaze. I'm Londo, he says in a, well, in a thickly accented voice. Shall we do it Australian? I am Londo. I am the teacher of Goldale. <laughs> You're all welcome for this horrible Australian accent. <clears throat> See, uh, this is an Australian accent. This, this is a bogan accent, is what that is. Uh, what is your profession in Goldale? I'm responsible for education in this filthy town. I teach the people who go to work in the mines. Take it that you don't like being here. The dust constantly clogs my nose and the dirt's always in my clothes. At least it's been better lately because of all the troubles in the mines. What troubles? The mines have been attacked by many, many dangerous monsters. I'm not who you should ask about that though. You should talk to Dellen. She runs the mines. Her office is nearby. Wow, it's scary to me how easy it is for me to slip into that. I'd like to train with you. Um, I guess we could train up Shesh Oh, in both of these. And pay a trainer once. Oh, to learn the skill and wants to improve it. Yeah. You conclude your training. I don't need anything. And be moving on. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's the typical 
stereotypical, I guess, Australian accent. That that nasally, nasally bush sound, and yeah. <clears throat> As with most things, the uh, stereotype is generally not the reality. Just like I'm sure my uh, my Russian accent is nothing like the reality, but it's stereotypes are fun sometimes, depending on the stereotype, of course. Take that, and I'll store that. Nothing that we care about. Nothing that we care about, and okay, it's just wine and stuff. That's yeah, kind of meaningless. Ivanova. This woman is piercingly beautiful. She has the air of one who is comfortable holding power. Her robes are simple and stylish, and she has two wands hanging from her belt. I am Ivanova, sage by trade. What are the wands for? She looks down at them. Self-protection. What else? Greetings. What purpose do you serve? I am a sage by trade. She grimaces. I do a lot of metal analysis. It leaves little time for my... Well, my other studies. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Whatever. I don't really care, then. You you lost me at metal studies. Uh, let's talk to Burr. Goldale is the home of a first-rate leather worker, plying his trade on the fine lizard skins found in this area. When you enter, he looks up with a broad grim. Grin. How are ya? I'm Burr. Got some great goods, but I can see I got nothing in stock good enough for the likes of you. But I can make custom work for you. First rate. Let me know. What can you make for me? Show your materials. He looks at your leather and crystals. What sort of armor are you looking for? Wow, I slipped back into Australia in there. Uh, well, thanks for being honest with me. Good luck to you. Do I not have all those in one place? Probably not. Or none of the above. Have I been selling them? I bet you I have. That was foolish. Okay, well, let's go find out what's happening in the mines. Do, 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 do. You meet a middle-aged woman with long, dark hair and an air of command. She wears a long, flowing, modest dress. She stands up and shakes your hands. I'm Dellen. Welcome to my office. May I inquire about your job? I run the Goldale Mining Company. Challenging, but rewarding work. Uh, how fares Goldale? A wealthy and peaceful town. Fortunately, we have suffered, suffered little at the hands of the troglodytes that have plagued the north. What is it you mine? We pull gold and fine iron out of the mountains to the east. Unfortunately, lately the demands on us have been considerable. We have recently offered rewards for certain services. Uh, perhaps I can help your situation. Our primary mine is to the northeast, but it has been taken over by a band of strange lizard people. They are led by a chieftain who wields a huge spear and commands many other such creatures. Slay the lizard people's chief and drive the rest out of the mine. Manage this, and I'll reward you well. Fair enough. So there's sliths in the mine. Which I've never seen before, which is kind of weird. It's sort of implied that they're always... They, like, they know about sliths. They hate them. They dislike them. Goldale Mines, Authorized Miners Only. Well, we are going to leave this episode here. We'll handle the mines in the next episode. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and let me know. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends might enjoy my content, make sure to share videos with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, uh, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so that I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.